Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this week for the Disney inspired series, we are sticking with Little Mermaid and I did a flounder inspired look. This was actually requested by Shannon Doherty. If you have not checked out her channel already, because I know I've talked about her before, look down in the description box. Her link will be there. You should definitely go check her out. She's so sweet and does such fun tutorials. She does lots of colors lately and I love it. So if you are interested in seeing this look, just keep watching. Okay, let's get started with this tutorial. Whoop. Trying not to let my mirror fall over on me like it likes to do. Okay, so since this is, like I told you guys, we're going another week with the, um, Little Mermaid, so we are doing a flounder tutorial, which is going to be lots of blues and yellows. Actually, I think I have only blues and yellows, to be honest. So, let's just jump right in. I am going to start with, and it's like exclusively a ColourPop tutorial to you guys. This is um, ColourPop in Hello. On my bigger elf fluffy brush. And that's going to go into the crease. As a sort of transition shade. And I'm going to add just a little bit more dimension to the crease. Where did my brushes go? Hello. With this smaller elf fluffy brush and another color pop. This is Taco. Don't know why I had to say it like that. Taco. Okay. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> and this one I'm just keeping on the outer half of my crease. I don't want to go all the way in. You guys, in between every step, I just like to blend out with this big fluffy brush, just so that I don't get any like crazy lines going on that shouldn't be there. Okay, now I'm going to take the ColourPop in Juicer. This is a brighter yellow. And I'm just going to use my... Oh, that was upside down. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to use my finger and apply this all over my lid. All right, so now in the outer corner and like outer third-ish of the Liz, I'm going, of the Liz, <laughs> of the lid, I'm going to use this ColourPop in Ibiza and a clean elf fluffy brush right here. Anticipate Teensy Bit of Added Sparkle because gotta have my sparkle. I'm just going to use a little bit of fringe with my finger and just on like the outer half of the eye. Now I lied, it's gonna go all over the lid. And you know, I was going to just do my standard black liner, 
but now that I'm this far, I've changed my mind, and I'm going to use ColourPop in Kimono, this nice deep blue, and just an angled brush to line my eyes instead. Okay, so I'm going to go line my eyes, curl my lashes, and then I'm going to apply these Wet n Wild lashes in Shutter Shock, and I will be back. Okay, so I did not use the lashes again, right? I instead used my Benefit Roller Lash and Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is the second time I've tried to film with these Wet n Wild lashes and multiple times that I've just tried putting them on and I think they just don't work for my eye shape. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I can put my dodo lashes on just fine, I've worn the Eyler lashes and just fine, I don't have problems with it, but for some reason these wet and wild ones, they give me a lot of trouble. So I think I'm finally going to give up on the wet and wild lashes. <laughs> and we're going to move on and do the lower lash line instead. I'm going to use kimono again with this angled brush and go just as close as I can to my lower lash line, keeping it nice and tight in there. And then I'm going to take this little pencil brush and a little bit of Ibiza and kind of smudge that along the lower lash line as well, just right underneath. And I'm going to take a juicer again and do the same thing right underneath Ibiza with my little pencil brush that I just wiped off. So I'm going to take Hello on this pencil brush, wiping it clean, of course, onto the inner corner. Does anybody else, every time I say hello, I think of Adele's song. Is it just me? It might just be me. And I'm going to put a little bit of fringe on that inner corner as well to give it just a little bit of sparkle. Okay, and then to finish off the face, I'm going to bronze with... I don't even know if I... Oh. Balm Desert. This little tiniest in the world bronzer that I got from Birchbox a while back. It's actually really hard to use because it's so little, but it is a pretty color. And then for my blush, I wanted to use this Maybelline Master Glaze blush stick. This is in Warm Nude. I forgot to apply my highlighter, but that's okay. We'll get it. Should have used my ColourPop blush. This would have been totally ColourPop. So for my highlight, I'm using ColourPop in Road Trip. And I'm going to use that with my favorite highlighting brush of all time. I don't even know who this is by because I can't read it, but I love this brush, you guys.
Okay, and then you guys, for my lips, because I love any excuse to pull out this color, let me take my hair down. Whew. Oh. Okay, so, because I love any excuse to pull this color out and use it for any reason, and Flanders blue and yellow, so it's appropriate, I'm using jellies by ColourPop, of course. I love this color, you guys. It's gorgeous. Well, some people don't think jellies is a wearable color. I think anything's wearable if you want it to be. Guys, I'm going out to uh, dinner and a movie with my husband after this, and am I changing my makeup? <laughs> no. So it's wearable. I feel like I want more yellow. Scratch everything I just said. I'm going to take Ibiza and put that on. Okay, you guys, this is my final look for flounder. Came out a little more dramatic than I was originally intending, but whatever. It was fun. And I love the look. I love it. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!